How's it going guys? We're going to go ahead and review Low Low System Mechanic Free. Now before we review it, let's go, to, go ahead and see what PC Magazine had to say about it. They say that the pros on it was that it has plenty of tune-up tools, has excellent explanation of PC problems, has unlimited installs. Well, it is free, but when you buy it, you can actually install it on many computers. It has a useful desktop widget. They say the cons is that it's Net Booster tool uh, that only does marginal internet performance boosts. And the bottom line is that it, it has a slick, slick tune-up tools that can dram dramatically improve your PC performance. If your computer is sluggish, they recommend you download this utility. Now this is what it looks like here. I will post the link on the description of the video so you can download it, the free version. But uh, basically, what this program, uh, this program does have a lot of tools. But under the overview here on the dashboard, you can actually, uh, it'll tell you. It puts all the tools together and uh, puts all the problems together so you can fix everything at once. Instead of having to go th through each individual tool, you can just have it do everything automatically. And that's what this uh, this main page is for, the overview right here. So let's, I'm gonna go ahead and click on view warning here. And this is what my computer has right now, the problems it has right now. It says there's no malware protection, but that's okay for now. And it has an 11 potentially unwanted startup program. So I'm going to click on review. And here we have my startup programs, which I already went through and I already determined which are good and which are not. But what's really cool about this program, and I get it, I'm going to think I'm going to give it a good review because of it, is that it'll tell you what, other, what the community has done. So if you have a startup program here that you don't know, you can just see what other people have done. And so it says 83% of people have turned this off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off because of that. I know a lot of people do it, so let's go ahead and do that. Only 17% of people keep this startup on. Let's take a look at the next one. The client virtualization handler. A lot of people keep it on, so I'm gonna keep that on. The Microsoft Office document cache handler. I'm gonna turn that off. A lot of people have turned it off, so that means you know it's not really that important to be running all the time. There is no information for these here that's but that's VMware which I'm not using that's a virtualization software this one also so I'm going to turn it off Windows Media Player networking sharing um, turn that off Yahoo toolbar of course I'll turn that off a lot of people keep it on but no I don't like the Yahoo toolbar that installed on its own to third party software all right let's go back click on the little X on the right hand side don't actually click on the X to exit the program because you'll exit the program just click on the little X alright we're back over here now there is other tools on here but if to use them you have to buy the actual full version so on the with the free version that we're using we can only use so many tools let's go ahead and go to the toolbox here all-in-one tools PC accelerator I'm gonna check the box here I'm gonna click next and BAM it just optimized. So the last time I ran this, it actually freed up 123 megabits of, of, of free space. I'm running it again, and it's doing it real quick because I already did that. Remember, click on the little X or click on exit down here. Go back to where you were. There's also a PC repair function here. I'm going to perform a quick analysis real quick to see if my computer needs any repairs. And it doesn't. You can also do a, do a deep analysis, which takes five to seven minutes. But the quick one works just as good. Well, not as good, but it still tells you if you, if you need to uh, repair your computer or not. Let's go to check out PC Cleanup. You can go ahead and select what you want. You get, they have uh, optional actions. So right now, a Google Chrome cache file is, but I'm also selecting Internet Explorer and temporary Windows files. Click Next. It'll start cleaning that up. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Three of three actions completed. All right, cool. So we just cleaned up the computer and we freed up some space. Now I've done this before, so the space it freed up now is not as much as the first time I ran it, but I'm pretty sure your 
if you haven't done this in a while, your computer's going to take a while to do it. Maximum about half an hour. But that's good. It means it's, it's, it's clearing a lot of stuff off your computer. Once it's done, it'll be a lot faster. Let's exit out of that. Let's take a look at PC security tool here. Backup system registry and fix security vulnerabilities. Which I'm not going to do that because I have uh, Windows updates turned off and it's probably going to turn them back on. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave that unchecked. But I am going to back up the system registry. I'm going to click next. And it's going to back it up. And it's backed up. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Let's see the specialized tool here. You actually got to get the full version for the total registry re revitalizer, which I think that's just hot air. I think that's just hype. You don't really need that. And you can take a look at it reports, see how your computer's doing. I have uh, 89 gigs of free space. I know that's bad. I need a, I need to buy me an external hard drive. I'm using 61% of uh, system memory right now. That's a lot. Holy crap, that's a lot. I need to see what's causing that. Let's click on optimize, see if we can do anything about that. Click on next. And it's defragmenting system memory. Let's see if I can actually fix that up. Cool. It went down. It went down a lot by doing that. Cool. So if you're using a lot of RAM on your computer, well, I recovered a little, a little bit, but that still makes a difference. All right, cool. So if you wanna, if you wanna better your RAM usage, you can go ahead and use that utility. I like that. I like that a lot. That's awesome. I like that. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So you can look at the history too, see what you've done. That's pretty cool. I like this program. It's awesome. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep this program. You can also schedule automated tasks here. You go ahead and enable it. Uh, you gotta get the full version to enable these. Okay. So. With the free version, it looks like you can still do a lot, right? We cleared out the temp folders, cookies. We were able to speed up the computer by clearing some RAM usage. So that's good. I like this program. I'm, I'm going to give this program a good review. The only thing I don't like about it is that the free version, you know, doesn't come with m everything. But, of course, you have to buy it. To, to Let's see how much it costs. Uh, MSRP is $39.95. Lowest price is $24.97. Let's go to the actual website here and see. So they're selling it. Right now they have a discount going on for 50% if you add this program, if you buy a program, of course. <laughs> but it looks like it costs $49.95 if you want to have the whole feature and everything with it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm always uploading new software tutorials and reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.